For nearly 500 years, King Richard III was lost, his royal resting place quite unremarkable. But a decade on, the story of his discovery remains just as astonishing. This is the courtyard, the playground of the Victorian school that the King Richard III Visitor Centre is in. And through this door is the car park where Richard III was found. After extensive research, writer Philippa Langley fixed upon a part of this car park, even describing a sensation in the exact place Richard was buried. A team of archaeologists from the University of Leicester started digging. Within just a few hours, he'd been found, with curved spine and DNA for proof. Phil Hackett is from the Richard III Visitor Centre. There was an R marked on the, on the tarmac and she said she had a feeling that that's where he was, which, you know, obviously sounds insane, and yet she was proven right. And then on top of that, the DNA sequencing is a speciality of the University of Leicester, and the living relatives were the last ones in the line because they haven't had children. It really is the most incredible archaeological detective story ever told. The space has been given special protection by Historic England, and the visitor's centre is built right on the spot where Richard was found. Richard III was the last Plantagenet king. His family ruled England for 300 years, until he died at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. In the centuries since, he's been a villain, mainly because of Tudor propaganda and Shakespeare. But many historians argue in his favour. Richard Smith is from the King Richard Society. We know that his body wasn't chucked in the river by an angry mob. That was a silly story. They sort of make people pause a little bit in sort of just repeating other silly stories about him. Molly studied history at uni. She volunteers, helping to share Richard's story. Keeping that enjoyment in history alive, keeping the relevance that history is alive is really important. Richard now rests at Leicester Cathedral. It's closed for renovations, but tourists still come in their thousands. Peter is Leicester's elected mayor. Many tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of visitors brought here as a result of this. Uh, and of course, uh, that's a major boost for our economy as well. And uh, we've seen, for example, uh, an increased 60% in the number of hotel rooms in the city. Jane is from Sheffield. She's visiting family, but couldn't miss the chance to come here. I mean, I can remember when they said, you know, they're going to dig, try and find him, and you think, well, needle in a haystack, don't you? And the fact that they actually found it and then helped to prove, obviously, that it was him, it's amazing. In a fresh turn for the tale, the remaining car park is up for auction. It's expected to reach £4 million. The story that comes with it is quite priceless. Will Hollis, GB News in Leicester.